All right, we're going to go ahead and work through the first example problem from the chapter 3, part 3, or chapter 3, section 3 um, lecture. So on relative motion, so we're looking at this particular problem. The worker in the figure climbs a ladder with a speed of 0.2 meters per second as the train goes forward with a speed of 0.7 meters per second. We want to find the speed and direction of the worker relative to the ground. Notice what we're looking at uh, relative. Okay, that, depend, that tells you what reference frame that you are looking at. So when you look at these subscripts, we see velocity of uh, WT. That's worker to the train. So from the reference of the train, we see the worker just moving straight up. The next thing is we see the velocity of the train to the ground. So standing on the ground, we see the, the train moving across. So we see our train moving across, we see our um, worker moving straight up, we're actually adding these two vectors together to get what is the speed of our worker relative to the ground. Well, we see across and we see up, well these two uh, vectors are perpendicular to each other. So when we look at the resultant, the velocity of the worker relative to the ground, we're seeing the fact that that is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So we already know how to solve for the hypotenuse of a right triangle given the tools we've been we've looked at before. We were given this equation and this equation to find both our magnitude and direction of our resultant vector. So my horizontal component or my x component is this one here. Well this one is my vertical component. Right? Remember, horizontal is our x direction, our x dimension, while vertical is our y direction, is our y direction and our y dimension. So this is my x, this is my y. As a result, my velocity of the worker to the ground is equal to the square root of the velocity to the train to the ground squared plus the velocity of the worker to the ground squared. So we can go ahead and plug those in to my formula. Plugging in all at once, we get a relative speed of 0.73. Alright, so this is his speed. We still need to go ahead and find the direction. Remember the direction does come from this inverse tangent equation. So my angle Plugging that into my calculator, inverse tangent of 0.2 divided by 0.7 gives me an angle of 16 degrees. So, as a result, the velocity of the worker relative to the ground is 0.73 meters per second at 16 degrees above the ground. And that is our answer.